Well, when it comes to musical theatre, Magda Zabanski and Jeffrey Rush are an unbeatable combination. Their show, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, is getting rave reviews. Yeah, it's a classic Sondheim, but castmate Christy Whelan-Brown gave us this exclusive backstage pass. Majesty's Theatre has been home to some of Australia's biggest musicals, Mary Poppins, Miss Saigon, Mamma Mia, and now our brand new all-Australian production of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. This is the green room where Mags and I, we play a bit of competitive table tennis. Everyone is so familiar with you as a person, with Sharon, with all your characters. How are you coping playing the battle axe wife to Shane Vaughan? We just have to get used to disappointing people initially. <laughs> you know, I think people, their main expectation of you is that you'd be funny. And yeah. whatever guys that takes. Yeah. We are really the two women characters yeah. in the show and I'm the dumb virginal courtesan <laughs> and you're the old battle axe. Yeah, which, so we're two yeah. real cliched women, aren't we? <laughs> the other thing that we have yet to learn about Magda but we learn in this show is that she has a beautiful singing voice. So why, oh, why have you, you hidden it so long? Uh, when I was younger I used to do a bit more sort of cabaret stuff but mm. it's really fun to revisit that and uh, yeah, it's great fun to be doing it now. When's the album coming out? Um, pretty soon. I'm, working out. I'm writing all the songs myself. I'm going to produce myself and play all the instruments as well. Yeah. Look out for that one. Here is my beautiful costume. And, um, and, and here's my version of the same costume. And we are indistinguishable, as you can imagine. I feel like I'm standing next to the girl from Avatar, but other than that, it's all good. How have you found the, the transformation into a, a musical playing that? Uh, it's pretty scary. It's not my, you know, in my, on my CV, there's probably half a dozen roles in musicals here and there. It's not a role that requires a, a great singing voice. It's like there's always a sort of principal comic actor in shows. Like if you play Fagan, you haven't got to be an operatic singer with a, an amazing vibrato. You've got to be an interpreter of character mm -hmm. and you've got to be able to hold a tune which I think I can do okay. Of course you can. A man, a man, a man, a I've tried to make him a bit more feral. He's a compulsive liar and that's part of where the humour of the show comes from is that anything that is not going his way he just digs a bigger and bigger hole and lies his way deeper and deeper into worse situations. Wriggling in the ante room, jiggling in the living room. I suppose it's a little bit anti political correctness or something, because the theatre can never truly be a politically correct place. It's always got to show the worst possible dimensions of human experience yeah. in comedy or tragedy. Hilarious. <laughs> Any show with music and togas, I'm there. <laughs> Thanks so much, Christy Will and Brown, for that report.